Each week, the San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of athletes overcoming adversity in their lives to succeed in school and in sports. Mount Diablo sophomore Nick Dorado loves football. His passion for the sport is helping him stay positive while dealing with a rare disease, one that's robbing him of his vision. On two, on two. Mount Diablo sophomore Nick Dorado is a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. But when he was forced to quit playing a game he loves, even Nick had a hard time accepting the news. Very tough to me because I found out that I can go completely blind. I'm going to lose my sight, lose my love for the game of sport, and I can't play anymore because of my low vision. Nine months ago, out of nowhere, Nick's central vision began getting blurry. As he and his parents traveled to multiple hospitals and clinics for an answer, his eyesight worsened. It was really frustrating because none of the doctors would believe him. They kept on thinking that he wasn't telling the truth or something, and, and they couldn't figure out what it was. It's a really rare disease to have. Finally, Nick was diagnosed with Leber's hereditary optic atrophy. While Nick is legally blind, his peripheral vision is fine. But without surgery, Nick can also lose his peripheral. I told him many times if I could give him my eyes, I would. And it, it hurts me a lot that he got this. Most kids at his age are worrying about what to wear. You know, and he's dealing with an adult issue right now. But uh, he's upbeat. You know, he's a good kid. He's a soldier. Nick's taking his positive attitude and applying it where it's needed most. The Concord Cobra's Pop Warner team coaching 11 to 14 year olds. I'm still here though, I'm still showing my love for the sport and I'm still here helping these kids also build their love for the sport. And it's just an exciting thing to come out every day for this team to help them become better day by day. He knows the offense, you know, he knows everything from last year. So he's, he's a pretty good coach. Even though he can't see, he still knows what's going on all the time. It's, it's pretty crazy. Very admirable. You know, I look up to him a lot because I wish, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do, you know, if I was put in that situation. I don't know if I would have the character and the integrity to not play the pity game, you know, and he doesn't do that at all. Last year, before the onset of Lebers, Nick had an outstanding year at wideout and defensive back for the Cobras. Nick missed just one play all season and still vividly remembers his first touchdown a 65-yard TD catch. It was a big excitement when I finally got the pads on and finally playing the game I love and love to watch. And now I'm playing it for once and dreaming I'm going to keep playing it in the future. He never quit. He never quit. He always hustled. There were times that he wanted to get out of the game and uh, we asked him, man, we need you this one play. And he gave it all I got and uh, just never quit. Nick has a 3.5 GPA despite having to learn special computer programs and braille. The braille is very difficult because it's very sensitive and I'm not used to using my fingers but the, my visually impaired teachers are saying I'm picking it up very well. But there's plenty of light at the end of the tunnel for Nick. On November 2nd he'll fly to China where stem cell treatment is far more advanced than here in the U.S. If this does work out I'm gonna be very excited. Like I told my mom if this works out I'm gonna be school, come home, homework and then I'm gonna be at the park training again to catch up to the tempo of football again to be able to play high school level. It's a three week long $15,000 procedure which Nick's grandma is paying a large chunk of but the family's still raising money. For him to say that he could see again would be the best thing in the world for me to, to hear. Charles Perkhurst once said the heart has eyes which the brain knows nothing of. Nick Dorado's heart sees a future full of family and football. With or without levers these are the eyes of a winner. Last weekend, Nick made his debut as offensive coordinator. The other coaches told him the situations, and he called the plays. The result, a 27-12 win over Solano for the Cobas' first victory of the season. Afterwards, a few of the players grabbed the water bottle and gave him the old bucket treatment.